ya últimamente ya hay tantísimo que ya casi es imposible pescar, porque es que destroza la red, se lleva la captura, hay problemas. ¿no? Across the Mediterranean, one of the problems that fishers have encountered in the last few decades involves dolphins removing parts of the catch directly from the net. Called depredation, this phenomenon is a growing concern for fishers, conservationists, scientists and administrators alike. En fait, dans le contexte actuel de la mer, on a des prédateurs, d'un côté les pêcheurs, de l'autre les dauphins, et ils vont chercher la même ressource. On a de plus en plus ces deux prédateurs qui se retrouvent au même endroit à chercher la même proie. Les dauphins trouvent que c'est très facile de trouver, déjà concentré dans le net, ils vont là et servent à eux-mêmes. Ça a été passé pendant longtemps. Le problème maintenant est que, quelque part, ils apprennent ou ils se sont habitués à être plus établis dans des zones qui, dans le passé, n'étaient pas tellement communes. Et ce problème a devenu vraiment un a real nightmare for, for the fishers. Il problema dei delfini ha un ventennio a questa parte, passano gli anni, sempre loro aumento, si proliferano e fanno abbastanza, diciamo, danno nelle reti, perché vengono a mangiare il pesce. Mangiando il pesce tirano il pesce e rompono la rete, ma buchi fanno buchi enormi. Petà fi barsha mashik. Min am li hi naniu fi fi dofa li huwa yfazdna barsha sarhat, yfazdna barsha for both small-scale and purse-same fishers, depredation can be ruinous. One fisherman of Fungirola, start of the fishing season, bought a new net only had the duration of one week. All the fishermen were obligated to end the fishing season and to and quit the job. And quit the job? Yeah. How much do you think a, a net like that can cost in the market? Uh, 800 euros. 800 euros the net? More or less. And it lasts for one week? Yeah, the complete net. Yeah. It is not affordable yeah. for them. But depredation is not only negative for fishers, it can also affect the survival of wild dolphins that can suffer serious injuries and even death if entrapped in the nets. The only way to avoid these interactions is to deter dolphins from approaching the vessels, but finding efficient ways to do so has proven a real challenge. The GFCM and ACOBAMS, in collaboration with SPA, RAC and LIFE, have run a four-year project in five countries to better understand depredation and to identify potential measures to mitigate these interactions in order to support sustainable fisheries and protect dolphin populations. It's a problem important for ACOBAMS in the sense where the impacts caused by the big dolphins can affect the engagement efforts of conservation engaged for the conservation of the cetacés. It's a very complex problem. The dolphins are des species very intelligent. So, in itself, it's difficult to find a perfect solution. And the objective is to arrive to find solutions that permit to the fishers to limit the impact economic for them, while ensuring the conservation of the dolphins. The GFCM and ACOBAMS are looking to assess how frequently and where these interactions occur to better document dolphin behavior and their approach to particular types of fishing gear, to determine the economic losses suffered by fishers, and to find solutions to reduce this phenomenon. The trust and collaboration between researchers and fishers are critical for the success of these efforts. They are the principal experts in the sea. They live of this, they live here, and they know before trying an experiment if it will work or not. Entonces, también son conscientes de que necesitan demostrar que nada funciona para luego pedir lo que ellos necesiten. We are testing two types of devices. Uh, one is based on visual mitigation and it is based on CDs and other type of experiment is, the, is based on recycled uh, glass bottles. Este animal es tan listo que cuando tiene hambre va a comer y ya sabe dónde tiene que buscar la comida, fácil. 
y por lo que estamos viendo de la prueba que estamos haciendo, pues resultados positivos poco. Cuando lo hay, cuando pasa, el pescado que hay se lo lleva, que se le ponga un sistema, otro. No, hombre, te estoy diciendo la verdad, vamos a otra cosa. Más quisiera yo decir que funciona lo que estamos probando, porque, hombre, eso nos beneficiaría a todo el mundo, pero no. Despite such disappointments, Massimo is not giving up. In Spain, but also elsewhere in the Mediterranean, other devices are being tested. Donc on a deux types de répulsifs, des répulsifs automatiques, les DDD, euh, qui s'activent automatiquement euh, en contact avec l'eau, et des répulsifs euh, interactifs qui euh, ne s'activent qu'à la réception d'ondes émises par les dauphins, ce qui peut euh, atténuer toutes sortes de pollutions sonores et euh, tout ce qui est adaptation euh, à ces, et accoutumance à ces ondes-là. Also in Tunisia, testing is being done in and around aquaculture farms. While dolphins don't directly attack the cages, they do feed on the wild fish around, and their presence can cause stress to the reared fish. Un hydrophone avec un enregistreur euh, euh, ont été euh, implémentés ou bien installés de, aux alentours des cages pour collecter les ondes émises euh, à la fois par les dauphins et par les repulsifs acoustiques pour avoir en fin du projet un répertoire vocal des dauphins et tester l'efficacité technique des différents repulsifs. Meanwhile, in Morocco, the focus has been on improving the strength of the net itself. Le Maroc donc donne un grand intérêt à ce à ce problème. Nous avons conclu à une nouvelle scène qu'on a appelée scène renforcée. Donc c'est une scène qui est plus solide, qui peut résister euh, aux attaques du grand dauphin. Donc hein, les résultats sont très satisfaisants, aussi bien sur euh, la capturabilité que sur la résistance par rapport aux déchirures. Travaillant sur l'amélioration de cette scène. And in Italy, Maricam, a national partner to the project, has been leading on a different type of testing. Maricam è stato attore dell'applicazione in campo di una sperimentazione particolare unica nel mondo, che è quella del testare l'utilità di un sistema di allarme presenza delfini che potesse essere utile all'avvisare i pescatori sulla presenza di questi animali per ritirare in tempo le loro reti. While depredation cannot be reduced to zero and pessimism can sometimes be overwhelming for fishers, the search for solutions continues. Some mitigation techniques, such as strengthened purse seine tested in Morocco, new models of pingers tested in Malta and Tunisia, and the alarm system tested in Italy, seem to show promise. One thing is for sure, no one single solution will suffice, and only a mixed approach could eventually bear fruit. <laughs>